doing the dance, the car roll dance, doing the dance, the car roll dance. Hi, I'm Culture of Truth. Today on Meet the Press, Terry Branstad, the Republican governor of Iowa, was on to discuss his views of the presidential race and the Republican primaries. Branstad said about last night's debate, quote, The real loser was President Obama because his policies have been a disaster. When you increase the national debt a trillion dollars a year, Americans don't want to become the next Greece or Italy. He said, We want somebody that's going to get America's spending under control and reduce taxes and regulatory burdens, not divide the American people by attacking the entrepreneurs and the people that invest and create jobs. It's a shame the President of the United States appoints the Bowles Simpson Commission, and then he walks away from it. He had the opportunity last year in the State of the Union Address to come up with a plan to reduce spending and put America on the right track. Later, Branstad said, We need a leader, somebody that's going to put America back on the right track, somebody like Ronald Reagan. Branstad also noted, quote, I was an early Reagan supporter here in 1976. I'm proud of the leadership that he provided for this country under the malaise that we were under, back under Jimmy Carter. And we had a president that brought America back and rebuilt our country. He continued his concern about the debt, observing, Well, you've got to give Ron Paul credit for having a plan to get rid of this huge deficit. He's the one that's been very consistent on that. Finally, he concluded, quote, The federal government, with its high federal tax burden, and penalties on businesses, everything from Dodd-Frank to the Rice Rule under the EPA, is damaging our communities, our businesses, and preventing us from creating jobs out here in the heartland of America. In Governor Branstad's world, Barack Obama was a disaster because he increased the debt, but Ronald Reagan was a great leader even though spending increased every year of his presidency and the debt soared every year of his presidency just as it did under George Herbert Walker Bush and, of course, the last Republican president, George W. Bush, where the increase was greater in dollars and percentage than for Obama. And, of course, the deficit was actually reduced under Bill Clinton. So, Jay, although 7 million jobs have been lost since the recession began in 2007, and taxes have been cut under President Obama, and the Dodd-Frank law only took effect in 2011, According to Terry Branstad, high federal taxes, the Dodd-Frank rules, and recent EPA regulations are what is preventing the creation of jobs in the heartland of America. And that's the most ridiculous thing that happened this Sunday.